This just in. The dead are beginning to rise. Citizens are panicking as zombies are taking over the world. In other news, trick-or-treating is in full swing as- Sheesh, can nothing ever go right in this town? Huh? Who's at the door? Oop, oh, it's the spiders. So the impending zombie apocalypse has reminded me of a big crossover game from Nickelodeon's website. In OMG Zombies, you have the unfortunate task of handing out Halloween candy during a zombie invasion. Now that's one heck of a concept, trying to live your average day-to-day -day life while zombies are coming to your door. It's like trying to review a game while possessed by a demon. <sighs> Sorry about that. So with the crew from my last review ready to guard the house, let me take a look at OMG Zombies. Now what first shocked me about this was just how good the atmosphere was. Check this out. really makes you feel like something bad's about to happen. You really feel like you are just sitting in your living room, awaiting impending doom. Shoot, the zombies are here. Mikey, get the gun. So we start with a tutorial as we're thrown into our house. We can explore, but there isn't much to see just yet. When we hear a doorbell or a knock at one of our two doors, we have to answer it and hope it's a trick-or-treater. They come in the form of Nickelodeon characters. You give them candy, but your visitor might end up being a zombie. Then you have to give them black licorice. Black licorice? <laughs> I guess a shotgun to the face would have been too inappropriate for a children's game. But then you survive the first night and get to access the shop. With coins you win every night, you can buy some kind of interactable item to go around your house. Or just a decoration. The first thing you might buy is the TV, and let me tell you, it really enhances the experience. It can flick on or off at random, blowing out your ears with the sound of loud static. This dude might even appear in it. Or Slenderman. You can also knock this painting over. That's fun, but at the start of each night, you get to see just how long this game actually is. Wow, 31 stages? That's not gonna get repetitive. Also, why are there trick-or-treaters coming every night for a whole month? Did the zombies take over and establish Halloween every day? I mean, the zombies are in Halloween costumes, so maybe they celebrate it. But these are some brave trick-or-treaters, going door-to-door -door while zombies are running around. Never underestimate the desire for unhealthy snacks. Or maybe they're in a cursed dimension where they have to trick-or-treat endlessly to avoid turning into zombies. Yeah, I think I figured it out. You must be a resident in that one Goosebumps book, Attack of the Jack-O-Lanterns. But I also have to mention the costumes. Both the trick-or-treaters and the zombies are very cleverly designed. The characters wear outfits from their shows, while the zombies often wear outfits that are also inspired by Nicktoons. Including Gurr sweatshirts. Uh-oh, looks like my house is being invaded by scene kids. But you don't have to just sit around while waiting for visitors. For one, you can access this menu to enter the code SPOOK for even more health. This will also give you an achievement. You can get those by completing certain goals. But watch out, toward the end of the night, your visitors get more persistent. You might even get visitors at both doors at the same time. Guess those other zombies will have to wait before trying to eat my brains. But as we know, the end of the night is a scary time for me as well. That's when I... lose control of myself. But anyway, I think Mikey got bitten. Forgive me for what I must do. But once you get more stuff, your house becomes a lot more amusing. Most of the items just tremble, but ones like this crow will caw. And I like the handprints that appear in your window. And ooh, that painting is scary. But like I said, the game goes on for a really long time, and the general gameplay doesn't change very much. It just gets faster. Which I guess is a good thing, because stages can be about 8 minutes long at the start. But unfortunately, if you try to play this game today, this will almost certainly happen to you. Oop, it's the spiders. Nah, but the whole thing might freeze or bug out. 
kind of surprised that this is such an issue with later Nickelodeon games, while the older ones are mostly well preserved. One might have assumed it would be the other way around. Frankly, I blame the zombies for messing with my internet connection. Thankfully, I have a giant ship on top of this haunted house that has a computer of its own. What, you haven't been following my October lore? So I'm gonna leave Patrick to distract these zombies while we climb up to it. Good luck with that. So yeah, while it is long and buggy, the game is still a lot of fun. The atmosphere is perfect, and it's nice to see so many Nickelodeon shows represented. I wasn't expecting Invader Zim or Danny Phantom references in this, that's for sure. And even if you get tired of throwing candy at people, you can still enjoy seeing all the interactable items around the house. You keep playing to see which ones you can unlock, so that gives you incentive to keep going. Unfortunately, though, that isn't entirely possible with all the bugs. But even if the game isn't fully playable, we can still be happy it's here to some degree. I'm amazed that they took such a spooky approach to this. Sure, the zombies themselves aren't really scary, but the atmosphere really gets you to anticipate the worst. I appreciate all the effort that went into this, and it makes for a good game to play on Halloween. I just wish it was available in its entirety. But for now, I think we have to end this zombie apocalypse before we can focus on fixing the game. Thankfully, I think I know how to do it. See, the Anti-Lucy Club has a few big lasers. They always use one to turn me into Dark Lucy. Maybe if we loaded one with black licorice, we could blast the whole town with it and kill all the zombies. See, we got an education from this game. Black licorice is every zombie's weakness. So full steam ahead. Let's sail this ship for the Anti-Lucy Club headquarters. Alright, we're here, but we have to fight through this horde of zombies to get inside. Thankfully, I have my boomstick right here. Let's do this. Well, we lost Charlotte in the scuffle, but at least we're inside. I believe this door will lead us where we need to go. Oop, it's the spiders. Oh, guess I'm the only one left. Well, better look around and find a good laser. Let's see, which one would it be? Uh-oh. Oh no. I was too busy fighting zombies, I didn't notice the time. It's midnight? No, no, I can't afford to become possessed right now. <sighs> I have to fight this, but I, 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 wait a minute. I may be possessed, but that doesn't mean a different form of me is. Since I'm here with all the big lasers, I might be able to repel my demon by becoming Dark Lucy. Oh, this is a big risk, but it's worth a shot. Here we go. <laughs> OMG Zombies. What kind of stupid title is that? This game must be made for- <sighs> Whoa, what just happened there? <sighs> Why are there trick-or-treaters while zombies are out? They really weren't thinking when they made- <sighs> Why did they try so hard to make it scary? It's a silly children's game. <sighs> Are these decorations supposed to be amusing? <laughs> and why did they even bother? <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm getting this stupid demon out of me. <laughs> Ow. I think I'm finally free. Dark Lucy gave their life to destroy the demon. Nah, they'll be back next time I get hit with that laser. But the demon's gone. I think. Well, that seems like a fitting end to this October arc. But before we close out, I have to blast this city with a laser filled with black licorice. Be right back. Well, all's well that ends well. It's good to be back and finished with our month-long Halloween game marathon. I hope you all enjoyed that. Now we're ready to get back to our usual uploads. I hope you stick around to see what other exciting adventures await us. But for now, I hope everyone has a very good and demonless Halloween. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on the accounts in the description below, and tune in to our next installment.
Thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next memory. <sighs> uh oh. All we want to do is eat your brains. We're not unreasonable. I mean, no one's going to eat your eyes. All we want to do is eat your brains. We're at an impasse here. Maybe we should compromise. Now, how did I work Jonathan Colton into both of my Halloween videos? <laughs>